to another Perfection YouTube training video. Today, Billy and I will be discussing the proper technique for building and installing negative pressure condensate trailers. Today, we'll be using PVC. Um, they can also be built out of copper. Um, black iron, probably not the best idea for corrosion control and stuff like that. So, we'll start off with your male adapter that goes into the drain, obviously. Coming out of the male adapter, we've got four feet of pipe, three inches. Um, that can vary in length. Um, now, doing this, you clean and glue each fitting. Um, coming after you come out with your short nipple, you have a key. And on top of this key, we have a plug. The plug dry fits in there to be removed for cleaning purposes. Um, coming out of the bottom of your key, you want your longest nipple on your drop. Glue, prime it, glue it, then a 90, then your cross key, you know, three inches. There are, uh, once you get into your higher static drains um, in your submittals, you'll be able to see there are specs on certain dimensions for your drop and your rise is coming back on your trap, depending on the static pressure. Most of the stuff that we do, um, they, we don't have uh, a lot of high static. So once you get your cross piece over, you've got another 90 going up, then a shorter nipple on your rise, an inch shorter, two inches shorter than your longest nipple. Then you have a 90 that goes on top of that. And then you connect to your regular drain line inside of a building. Inside of a building, every connection would be glued together. If it's on a roof, you can leave one of the two bottom joints not glued so that in the winter, if it freezes, it has a place to press a pop out. Yes. Also, with the, it does not have to come out and look down like this. If you need to turn this in order, to run a parallel with the side of your rooftop unit, you can come out, drop down, that keeps it out of the way of somebody picking it or breaking it off. Um, you know, as long as you have a difference in elevation between your inlet and your outlet, your inlet has to be higher than your outlet. You can turn these 90s in any matter to suit you for the job. And then in our next video, we'll go over what Billy had discussed on negative pressure traps in the formula that you use to determine the height of each of these two pieces. And that's it. Thanks for stopping by.